Hello everyone and welcome back to more of The Bunker. So, in the last video there was a system error on our computer. We have to go find a fuse box. Uh, but first I want to look in this locker, it's been tempting me since the end of the last video. I just want to see what's inside locker. it. Oh really? I felt like it would be far more interesting than that, but I guess not. Well, nothing to do except go find I'm the sure fuse box. It does mean leaving the room, which he is very dead set against. Oh, so we have a few options. We can open this door, we can look at this one, it looks like. Or we can walk. I'm guessing this is go Oh, okay, what's going on here? I'm guessing this is to go further down the corridor, so let's go ahead and use this. So where might this be? Oh, it's another room. Oh, this is our room? What do I do? That's very confusing. <laughs> oh, but I can go through the drawers now. I couldn't do that Some before. Of my old drawings. Okay. Some sort of laser weapon. Psychopath with various weapons. <laughs> it seems like he liked space. And dolphins? That was intriguing insight into the main character's mind, I suppose. Right. Well, there's no need to look at the pictures again. What about. Help me, Mum. It's in this drawer. I'm looking to see if I can find any, um, any extra wooden statues. Okay, there's a key here. Seems that might be fairly useful. The key. Now I have to leave. It appears I needed the key to be able to leave. So I'm a bit ahead of the game here, <laughs> doing things without really knowing that I have to. What about the cupboard? Anything important? Doesn't appear that I can click on anything, so let's head back. Okay. So was room two the room with the with the computer in. So I guess, yeah, yeah, okay. I guess we did have access to all of this stuff before. I need to find the fuse box on level two. It's just a bit confusing because I didn't obviously know the layout of the area previously. So if I walk. We have a sick bay and a storeroom. I kind of want to see what's in this, or well, I want to look at it. Oh. Oh, okay. Is this the door to the outside, perhaps? I'm guessing he's not ready for this sort of thing. Okay, that was where I needed to use the key. I wanted to check all the other places and see if there was anything else to pick up. I'm sad now. I'm quite an explorey person. I like to check that I haven't left anything undone. some sort of flashback. And I've taken the spoil supplies off and, and spit it out. out. Fourteen months, at best. If we carry on as we are, eight months. But I, I've gone over it with Dr. Hart. On bare minimum, we might make fourteen. And bare minimum means? I didn't like to press him, but 
scare the rickets. Christ. Ben. Then we all just withered away to skin and bone. <sighs> Maybe I should have just left the hatch open and gone for a nice stroll in the fresh air instead. What do we do? We tell people everything's all right. It's not all right. One whiff of this and you'll have your throat slit over the last tin of peaches. Is that the way you want to die, Sam? Fighting over scraps? We could just cut your wrist now and the rest of us will split your rations. Chin up, man. It's ten minutes until the next bulletin. He did really seem like the kind of guy who would slit someone's throat, so throw it over a tin of peaches. <laughs> Wouldn't put it past him. So clearly we've been out of the room before, so it makes me wonder why we're so nervous about it now. I want to go back upstairs, I want to check the storeroom. I want to go see if we left any little wooden toys in the toilet or something. Oh, okay, so, I, oh, yes, I can go back upstairs. Sorry, guys, we're going to go explore the other two rooms that we missed. I just want to check I'm not missing anything important, like, story-based. I'm not so concerned about the achievement side of things. So, we have a sick bay in a storeroom. I'm not hungry. Okay, so we have access to the peaches. I don't need the toilet right now. Okay. Ah, so <laughs> I see, yeah, he said he hates sardines, didn't he? So there's still a lot of sardines left. He should probably eat those first and then all he'll have left are the things that he doesn't mind so much. Oh well. Won't tell him how to ration. Is there anything else that I'm missing, maybe? Nothing in here but beans. I'm not hungry. And... Nothing in here but beans. Okay, so he has two boxes of beans. That's unfortunate because he didn't seem to like those very much. I guess there's nothing to see in here, but <laughs> I'm going to force you guys to sit through it anyway. I'm just one of those people who's like, Oh my god, I didn't go through that door and now I'm progressing. And I have to go back and check what <laughs> the opposite side of progression was. Oh, okay. This looks disturbing. Blood. I can tell. <laughs> oh, I've got an emergency access only door. What about this? We... Date, ah. 4th of July, 96. Patient's name, Vera Taylor. Patient reports headache from Monday a.m., vomiting and diarrhea Wednesday, also cough with occasional blood, intermittent bowel pain, increasing pain in chest, temperature fluctuating, peaks at 100.5 degrees, blood present in feces. Conclusions. Patient showing signs of radiation sickness. Plan. Sick base day, white blood count test, monitor. Potassium iodide, 130 milligrams orally per day for four days. Review. Possible DTPA course. Notes taken by Evelyn Jones. Ah, so I'm guessing perhaps his mother died from radiation sickness. Which makes me wonder why... I, 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 don't, I can't remember the character's name, but why is he immune to this? It's locked. Okay, so we can't even go that way yet. What's this bell? No lights. I'm safe. Oh, we have a radiation warning map. That might be useful in the future, who knows? Well, I have exhausted all my options and gained nothing, but at least I feel less OCD about the fact that I left something unchecked. Without further ado, I guess let's continue down the stairs. Now that I thoroughly wasted 10 minutes of everyone's time. Oh good, I'm glad they didn't do that scene again. It did take a long time, even though it was a bit trippy. So which ways can we go? We need to go, we need to be on level 2 anyway, so I'm assuming 
this is the way we're meant to go for now. Oh, yep. Level two. What secrets await us? Oh, this looks spooky. Oh, is that a light switch? That would be incredibly useful. Okay, some sort of computer room. That could be useful to solve our problems. What can I click on? Ooh, a Commodore computer. Old school. Regional reports, medical reports, personal logs, or miss. Okay, CMSR Roland's dead. Request for aid. Alright. Okay. Emma Edmonds. Vera Taylor, deceased, cause of death unknown, autopsy inconclusive, acute gastrointestinal failure, possible radiation sickness. Okay. Personal logs. It's going to be fine. Okay, so maybe fine isn't the right word, but we have enough supplies to make it through. I'm sure of it. If we can just keep it together and be sensible with the rations, then we can make it. Sure, none of us are going to get fat down here, but I could use losing a few pounds anyway. Things I miss. Egg and chips, having a bath, my bed, warm sun on my neck, grass, chocolate, Natalie. Things I hate. <laughs> sardines. Everybody seems to hate sardines. The bunker smell and level five. Oh, so what's going on with level five? Something creepy up there, I guess, or down there. I'm not sure. <laughs> well, I think we were on level one, so I'm guessing the further down we go, the higher the number goes. Right, so what else? We've got this here, this computer. Oh. Communication from Bunker HQ, Site 3, Corsham, Wiltshire. Prime Minister delivered safely before blast hits. 4,013 government ministers and civil servants, including cabinet office, local and national government agencies, intelligence and security advisors logged in, shortage noted in domestic support staff. Guess they didn't make it. All facilities operating normally. Checks carried out in infirmary, bakery, laundry, kitchens, telephone exchange, storerooms, office space, living accommodation, maintenance areas and workshops. How big is that place? Trust me, you get sent to this sardine tin. Prime Minister unsatisfied with living accommodation. Twat. Other. Civilian casualties noted outside bunker. Group of 50 attempted to breach rear exit blast door. Aggressive action not required. Activity ceased after blast. Poor bastards. What is it with everyone in sardines? There seems to be an intense dislike for anything sardine related. Okay, so there's a walking point over here. Okay, so what is there possible to interact with? What's this? Sam. He's nice and smiles to me. Okay, we found another doll. That's fun, I guess. <laughs> right, so how do- oh, back. It's probably how we go back. What are these doors then? Well, we know the next one is the commissioner's room. Seems like a classroom of some kind. Well, let's say, for example, the hit on Reading was one megaton. That would mean we have this radius, only halfway to Basingstoke. Now, maybe that looks small, but that's around 100,000 fatalities. Maybe 80,000 injuries from the blast and the fireball. That's just to start with. Prevailing wind direction here is northeast fallout scatter would be huge. It's likely to drift all the way out past Cambridge, past Norwich even, out to sea. The total number of casualties? 
unimaginable. And that's one bomb. Okay. Sounds pretty severe. Okay, effect on humans. Dose in... What does that say? Rowengens? <laughs> I, I'm not sure. <laughs> okay. Virtually no short-term effect, some nausea. 150 to 250. Nausea and vomiting within 24 hours, some incapacitation after two days, some mortality. 250 to 350. Uh, I'm not sure what NMV means. Symptom free period, two days to two weeks, some mortality in two to four weeks. Uh, incapacitation prolonged for survivor, mortality in one week. Is that radiation? AB welcomes. CB asks clarification purpose of meeting. AB puts forward petition from 18 residents keen to institute post of morale officer. It is felt that CB is not forthcoming enough in communicating current status of bunker to residents. CB makes point that any urgent change in status will be communicated very clearly to all residents when it becomes relevant. In his view, no need for a new position. AB cites two safety incidents and asks committee if they were aware. All but FH, DM, SC are unaware of said incidents. CB says neither incident is cause for immediate concern. No need to raise panic in difficult atmosphere. Calls on FH to clarify incidents. FH agrees not of immediate concern. AB raises point that lack of trust in bunker hierarchy is causing morale issues. More clarity and openness needed. CB reiterates appointed hierarchy and his belief that no need for additional officer. If any critical incident comes to light, all will be made aware. Request send to meeting as urgent business to attend to. AB calls for vote on appointment of morale officer. CB says vote will be ignored. Not a democracy. Meeting ended. Okay, so it appears that this is a meeting involving all the survivors. Seems to be some kind of power struggle going on here. I just need to know. It's all right, Vera. Nonsense! I know George is trying to hide things from me. I'm in Evelyn. I'm not stupid. I'm right, aren't I? I don't know what to say. I suppose he's just not it's sure. Radiation! It could be. Then why is he trying to hide it? Why? Am I on the right medicine? What could be done? Why won't he say? George has been distracted lately. Maybe he's just trying not to upset everyone. They should be upset. They built this place in six weeks. Six weeks! How could anyone expect it to be safe? There must be a leak. There must be. Mr. Bishop says I that it's... I know what he says. He doesn't want everyone to panic. Silly old Vera having another one of her turn... <coughs> So they were trying to hide the fact that she was ill to avoid panic. But that is pretty dangerous considering everybody could be at risk. I guess there's nothing else to see here, so let's go in the commissioner's room. With the greatest respect, sir, we've been up all night. It's been 10 minutes since I had to cover Vera's face. But and is I've... it radiation I don't sickness? know yet. The nearest proper lab is under 10 tons of radioactive rubble, and I have to make do with a microscope. It's all right, George. We'll run some tests, Mr. Bishop. Is anyone else showing signs? Yes, six others. Quarantine them. Right. Mom? It's all right. Come here, love. What's the matter? I can't sleep. It's all right. You know if you stay in your room, you'll be safe. I'll be a bit of tick. Maybe I shouldn't have interrupted. <laughs> I'm kind of... Don't like it here. Kind of intrigued as to what they were going to say after I... Oh, look, there's another... Thing. 
No one likes this one. <laughs> Why did you make him then? <laughs> if you just make him not to like him, fair enough. There's nothing I need here. Okay. Well, I didn't know until I opened it, did I? I'm still looking for that fuse box. Is there anything else I can tinker with? Okay. We have this is some like CCTV. Oh, interesting. I can see some creepy stuff happening with this in the future. But for now, it seems to just be. It doesn't seem much to do with that. Okay, so we have an intercom and a PC and a note. Well, I'm actually going to leave this episode here. We've got a bit of story progression going on. Very interesting stuff. If you guys have enjoyed, then don't forget to leave a like and subscribe for more. And until next time, guys, goodbye.